We are all different, we're all unique, and we all deserve to be happy. And so how I'm living is just living my truth. My name is Madeline Cesar Pasar. I work at Hawaii Health and Harm Reduction Center, where I am the project manager for Koana Project, a transgender program. When I came out, I came out at the age of 21. It was my coming out day. It was the day I said I was gonna live my life, and I was blessed to have an amazing coming out birthday. The reason I came out is because I wasn't happy and my Hanai family knew I wasn't happy and so they had a conversation with me about being who I wanted to be and not being ashamed of who I wanted to be and that they supported me. So I think by having the support of my Hanai family was the reason why I knew that I could come out and be who I wanted to be. I was really afraid of what my what my parents, my my real parents would feel or how they would react and when they found out, which was the same day of my coming out party, I had the blessing of my family and that is something that is not normal for when trans folks come out. I was one of the few lucky ones that didn't get kicked out. My family embraced me and so I like to say that I'm blessed and I am one of the few blessed ones. Oh my gosh, Wait, what changed when I came out? This and <laughs> this happened. You know, when, when I finally came out, I was able to live my truth. I was able to be comfortable in my own skin because I wasn't. And because I wasn't, I wasn't as sociable. I, you know, I did what I needed to do to get, to get by, you know, go to work and then I'll just um, stay in my room. But once I came out, I wanted to be out there with everyone and just enjoying life and being happy. And so for me, you know, what changed was my attitude in life and, you know, and what changed was, you know, I could be who I wanted to be and not be afraid. What I love about being in the LGBT community is how we are able to express ourselves, how we're able to be ourselves, and how we're able to come together as, as a family whenever we're feeling attacked or if we're feeling that someone is, is not um, agreeing or not, um, accepting our lifestyles. You know, I can turn to my transgender sister, I can turn to my gay brothers, my lesbian sisters for support. The advice I will give to those that have not come out yet is knowing that there's so much resources out there now. You know, for me, when I came out in the in the 90, early 90s, there wasn't, you know, too much places for us. There really wasn't any type of support. Now there's so much support. There's so much um, um, places that you can turn to. You can even do research online just to see what's out there, if you're comfortable and all of that. I'm gonna just say, don't hold back. Don't be afraid, you're not alone, and just know you got us that supports you, so you're never alone.